The boat moves into a gondola, which holds boats side by side. There are two gondolas on the Falkirk wheel, which always weigh the same, whether or not they carry their combined capacity of 600 tonnes, as the water contained within the gondolas is displaced to compensate. The Falkirk wheel is under the operation of the main control room at the basin, and safety procedures are closely monitored to ensure that the wheel cannot turn until all the steps required have taken place. To make the Falkirk wheel ready to turn, two hydraulic steel gates are raised to seal off the gondola from the water in the canal basin. The water between the gates is then pumped out and a watertight seal which connects the gondola and the canal basin is removed. A hydraulic clamp and a series of securing pins which prevent the arms of the wheel from moving while the gondola is docked are now removed allowing the Falkirk wheel to turn. In the central machine room, an array of ten hydraulic motors begins to rotate a central axle, which is carried on bearings at both ends. The axle connects to the outer arms of the Falkirk wheel, and this now begins to rotate slowly at a speed of one-eighth of a revolution per minute. It takes around four minutes for the gondola to reach the top of the aqueduct, 25 metres above. The Falkirk wheel can turn in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, and the choice over which way it turns is made by an operator in the control room. To reduce wear on bearings and other moving parts, the operator will evenly distribute the number of times the wheel turns in each direction. As the wheel rotates, the two gondolas are always kept in the upright position by a simple system of gears. Two 8-metre-wide outer rings orbit a fixed inner cog of the same width. Two smaller cogs connect the inner and outer rings together. These travel in the opposite direction to the outer rings and this ensures that the two gondolas remain level. Without this system, the inertia created by over 80,000 gallons of water would tip each gondola over. According to Archimedes' principle, floating objects displace their own weight in water. So when a boat enters the gondola, the weight of water displaced will equal the weight of the boat. This means that one gondola holding one or more boats will always weigh the same as an empty gondola, providing that the water levels are the same. Maintaining an equal water level in each gondola is critical to the operation of the wheel. A system of electronic sensors constantly monitors the water levels up and down the Falkirk wheel site. Balance and equilibrium are the two principles behind the Falkirk wheel's remarkable energy efficiency. It uses only one and a half kilowatt hours of energy to complete one half turn, the equivalent of boiling eight electric kettles. Unlike a conventional lock gate, the Falkirk wheel makes very economical use of water. Because water has to travel both up and down with the gondola, the canal water is never wasted. When the gondola reaches the top of the aqueduct, a hydraulic clamp locks onto the gondola to hold it in place, while the space between the gates is filled with water.
Once the water levels have equalized, the gates are then lowered to allow the boat to pass through.